In this lecture, we're going to continue studying graph theory, and in particular, we're going to get into uh, more detail um, concerning spanning trees and spanning forests, and discuss applications and and how to um, how to solve the problem of finding spanning trees and spanning forests. So here's the deal. If we're successful in doing that, if we're successful in somehow keeping track of the connected components, um, all we have to do to decide whether or not it's okay to add an edge, and, uh, we're thinking about some edge of low weight that we'd like to add, and we're worried that if we add that edge, it might introduce a cycle into the subgraph, okay? Well, here's all we have to do to decide that. We have to simply say, well, if we add that edge, is that edge going to connect different connected components and cause them to become connected? Okay? If that's true, if the new edge would connect two different connected components and cause them to become a single connected component, then that's a good thing. That means that we did not introduce a cycle. But if, on the other hand, that edge would connect two vertices that are already in a connected component, then that edge would cause a cycle and we don't want it, right? Suppose U and V are the vertices that would be connected by the edge E that we're considering adding. Okay, I say again, if U and V are already in the same connected component, then there's a path of selected edges that would take us from U to V, right? If U and V are in the same connected component of the subgraph, then among then there's some path among that uses only selected edges that can go from U to V. If we now toss in E, then we can have a cycle. We'll have introduced a cycle because we could use that edge E to get from V directly back to you, okay? So that would be bad. So in that case, we reject the edge E. We don't want E because E would connect two vertices that are already in the same connected component of the subgraph. But on the other hand, if those two vertices U and V that are the endpoints of of the edge E, if they're in different connected components of the subgraph, then it's perfectly fine to select E and t toss it into the subgraph, okay? If we add that edge E to the subgraph, then the connected component that U belongs to and the connected component that V belongs to will now become merged into a single connected component. Okay, so that's all Kruskal does. Kruskal goes through and repeatedly selects edges of, of least possible weight, subject to the proviso that we never want to select an edge that would um, connect two vertices that are already in the same connected component of the subgraph. We'll look at the code later and, and worry about this issue of keeping track of the connected components of the subgraph. That, that's not as big a deal as you might think. Um, it takes a little thinking to figure out how to do that, but, um, but, but once, you've, once you've conquered that problem, and we will, um, every, everything else in Kruskal is a piece of cake. Okay, let's take a careful look at Kruskal Kruskal's algorithm being used um, on um, our earlier example. Okay, so if, to begin with, um, think about the subgraph that consists of all the vertices, all the cities, but none of the edges. Okay, we haven't selected any edges yet. Now, which of the edges has the least weight? And if you go back and look, the answer is that the edge connecting Paris and London 
that has the least weight, that has weight five. So we'll select that edge. Um, now, initially, Paris and London are in different connected components of the subgraph, right? All the vertices initially are isolated, so there's no harm in selecting that edge, and we do so. Okay, then we look and see, well, what's the next um, least weight edge? Among all the edges that have not been selected yet, we see that there's an edge of weight 8. That's the least, uh, least weight edge um, connects Ankara and Riyadh. But the question is, should we add this edge? Well, it has the least weight, so that's good. But does it connect two cities that are in the same connected component of the subgraph? And the answer is no, it doesn't. Uh, um, these are in different connected components of the subgraph, right? Right now, the subgraph consists of all the cities and only one edge, right? The edge from Paris to London. So Paris and London are in the same connected component. Everything else is in its own connected component. So we can safely select this edge as well. Okay? All right, so we've select this edge. We now have two edges in our subgraph. Um, and we continue like this. We see that there's an edge um, connecting Ankara and Nairobi that has weight 11, but there's also an edge um, connecting London and Moscow that has weight 11. So we choose one of those. Let's, let's say we look at, we haven't selected it yet, but we're considering selecting, let's say, the one from Ankara to Nairobi. Okay. Uh, is there already a way in the subgraph to get from Ankara to Nairobi? And the answer is no. Um, these are in separate connected components at the moment, right? So it's safe to select this edge as well. All right, we select that edge. Now, um, we also have this edge of weight 11 that connects London to Moscow, so we want to consider the, the inclusion of that edge next. Okay? The same reasoning tells us that that's okay. We can toss that in because... You know, um, London and Moscow are in different connected components of the subgraph. There's no way in the subgraph to go from London to Moscow yet. So let's add this edge, and now we have a way to get from London to Moscow. Okay? All right. The next least weight edge connects um, is between Nairobi and Riyadh. Okay? So we ask, should we include that edge? Well, no, we shouldn't, right? Because we've already added enough edges that we can just use selected edges to get from Nairobi to Riyadh with the edges that we've already selected. That is to say, Nairobi and Riyadh are currently already in the same connected component of the subgraph. So it would be a bad thing to add another edge um, that between Nairobi and Riyadh, and by a bad thing, I of course mean that would introduce a cycle into the subgraph. Okay, we don't want any cycles in the so we reject this edge. Um, the algorithm continues and it considers next an edge connecting Paris and Moscow, which has weight 14. Um, we have to reject that edge as well, because there's already a path from Paris to Moscow using the selected edges. That is to say, Paris and Moscow are already in the same connected component of the subgraph. So we'll reject this edge. Okay, can you go back and see, um, see, how, see this? All right, and the same thinking continues so on until we eventually build up an entire connected a spanning tree, a spanning tree. 
Okay. At that point, um, you know, we as humans, we can look and just say, oh, well, we have a spanning tree now. Um, the algorithm might instead just more mechanically continue looking at edges until it's examined all of the edges and realized that, okay, um, well, after it's done examining all of the edges, it will have added just the right edges to form a minimum spanning tree. Okay, and here I say minimum spanning force because, yes, if we start with a graph G, if it's not connected, we'll have a spanning force. But if it is connected, well, that spanning force will be a spanning tree.